Okay, uh, are we good to go? You are, you are. We have Amherst Media in the house with us. You have your quorum of the board. Um, my computer says 6.33. I think we're good to go, Mr. Coldham. Okay, well, uh, welcome to the Amherst Planning Board a meeting of August 7, 2004. My name is Bruce Coldham. Um, our chair and vice chair uh, are not uh, immediately available this evening. And as the clerk of the Amherst Planning Board, I am calling this meeting to order at uh, 6 33. Um, this meeting is being recorded and is available live stream via Amos Media. Minutes are being taken. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 221 and extended by Chapter 2 of Acts of 223, this planning board meeting, including public hearings, will be conducted by remote means using the Zoom platform. The Zoom meeting link is accessible to the uh, meeting agenda posted on the town's website calendar, listing this uh, listening for this meeting, or you can go to the planning board website web page and click on the most recent agenda where the Zoom link is listed at the top of the page. No in-person attendance of the public is permitted. However, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the meeting in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to uh, do so for reasons of economic uh, hardship or despite best efforts, economic hardship. We will post an audio uh, or video uh, recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting on the town's website. Board members, uh, I take a roll call. When your name is called, unmute yourself, answer in the affirmative, uh, and return to mute. mute. Um, Karen Winter. Here. Fred Hartwell. I am here. Doug Marshall. Present. And uh, we have apologies this evening from Jesse Major, Janet McGowan, and Karen Winter. Um, board members, if technical issues arise, we may need to pause to fix the problem and then continue the meeting. If the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raised hand function to ask a question or make a comment. I will see. Uh, your request and call on you to speak. After speaking, remember please to remute yourself. To the general public, the general public comment item is reserved for public comment regarding items not on tonight's agenda. Please be aware that the board will not respond to comments during the public comment uh, period. Public comment may also be heard at uh, other times during the meeting uh, when determined appropriate by the board chair. Please indicate that you wish to make a comment by clicking the raised hand button when the uh, public comment is solicited. If you have joined the meeting, uh, the Zoom meeting using a telephone, please indicate that you wish to make a comment by pressing the star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name address and put yourself back into mute when finished speaking. Uh, residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the board chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their a lot of time, their participation may be discontinued from the meeting. Um, minutes. Uh, I don't believe we have any minutes for review. Is that correct? That is no. correct. We have okay. minutes that have been completed, but they have they weren't completed in time for this meeting. Um, the second item on the agenda is uh, public comment. Uh, whoops, something funny happened to me there. Um, we have two members of the public uh, attending, and it is the custom of the chair to read those uh, in attendance. And uh, we have James Polyogalopoulos. Uh, uh, I believe that might be the person from WAMC, and Tom Reedy. Uh, those are the two persons in attendance. Uh, if either, uh, or Tom, I guess, will be part of the applicant's uh, case, so I don't expect Tom to be making a public comment. James, if you wish to make a public comment at this stage, please indicate by raising your hand. 
I'm not seeing a hand raised. We have but two members, um, so I think uh, we will uh, move on from the public comment period uh, to the public uh, hearings, the uh, first of which is a site plan review. Um, it is 6.38. Um, in accordance with the provisions um we are we are going to open this uh this uh, public uh, hearing uh, of the site plan review in accordance with provisions of mass general laws chapter 40a this public hearing has been duly advertised and notice thereof has been posted it is being uh has been posted and it is held for the purpose of providing the opportunity for interested citizens to be heard um we are at 635 uh we are past 635 so we can continue spr uh, 2024 11 university drive amity llc university drive at amity street requesting a site plan review for approval under section 3.325 of the zoning bylaw to redevelop an existing commercial space into an 85 residential unit and commercial space mixed-use development, including parking, landscape, lighting, and stormwater infrastructure. Um, uh, parcels 13B-18, 27, 28, 54, uh, those four parcels in the uh, BL zoning district. Uh, board member disclosures. Any of uh, the four attending board members have anything they wish to disclose in relation to this application. Seeing no hands. Um, at this point, I think we would call on the applicant uh, to present. Uh, Pam, can you? I, um, it will be. Oh. Mr. Mr. Reedy has been brought over to the panelist. Oh, I, did. I didn't. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking at the. Uh, he, he was gone from the attendees, but I didn't see him on my screen. I thought, Tom, you're in limbo. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> He's uh, there. So Tom, I'll just sit, sure, on, simply Tom Reedy, attorney with Bacon Wilson out of Amherst, uh, here on behalf of U Drive Amity and its application, as the chairman noted. Uh, not providing any testimony tonight. We're just requesting a continuation to September 18th. I had provided an email to Ms. Brestrup. I want to say it was maybe Tuesday morning after the site visit. Um, and, and really, we want to take the opportunity to talk to the conservation agent. We got her comments. I've already talked to the engineer. They're all addressable. I frankly don't expect any plan changes, but we still want to at least give the courtesy to talk with Erin. Um, and we haven't submitted an NOI yet. We expect to do that probably the end of this month. We have all the information, the data sheets. You've seen the plan, stormwater report, et cetera. We just want to pull that together and again talk to Erin about it and get it to her. And so understanding the board's not going to make any decision until they have some input from CONCOM. We just thought, you know, for that reason, and I know, you know, I see Doug's name, but I know he's not um watching this live. I know Jesse's not here and you're missing a couple of other board members. We just thought, let's just not give any testimony. Uh let's kick this over until September and let's have the first substantive hearing at that point. Okay, so we have a date certain. Sounds like uh, you and Chris uh, have discussed a, a date in September that we could uh, move to uh, move continuance to. Is that correct, Chris? That is correct. Yes. And that date uh, would be, Mr. Chair. Um, Doug. Yeah, I just want to correct uh, the applicant that I am in attendance this evening. Uh, I think he's, he noted your attendance, but that you weren't uh, visually connected in some way. But anyway, Doug Marshall is attending uh, as a board, planning board member. We have a quorum. There are four of us. Uh, Chris, the date? So, yes, the date is September 18th, and I would suggest 635, because okay. that would be the first case on that night night's agenda. Uh, do I, um, I don't, well, do I have a motion to continue to that date at 635? 
Uh, Doug, I think Doug is moving. Uh, I guess, uh, uh, Karen, do you want to second that? Since I'm, I'm looking seconded. straight. Yes. Yes. I so see. we have a motion as seconded. Uh, is there any discussion on the motion at this point from any uh, Fred studies hand up? Fred. Wait a minute. There we go. Uh, just curious. Uh, part of this process is going to involve combining four parcels uh, into one, which is presumably under item seven on the agenda. That, I mean, uh, uh, I'm sorry, item six on the agenda and our subdivision applications. Are we uh, going to be, in the interest of efficiency, going to be doing those tonight? No, there's uh, no plan to do that tonight. Yeah, we we haven't submitted the uh, perimeter plan yet, Fred. But we will either as a condition of approval uh, prior to receipt of a building permit or during the process. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, there was a site visit, I should note, but I think we won't give a report on that site visit until. Um, Next time, there may indeed be another site visit given the absence of uh, some of the board members. Uh, uh, so we'll hold that, uh, simply noting that there was a site visit, but no report will be given. Um, we're not taking public comment on this item uh, as we would ordinarily do uh, because we have not taken any testimony, so uh, therefore they will. <laughs> it's inconsistent and improper to take public comment when we haven't had any testimony, but there will be plenty of time for that in September. Um, I think uh, if there's any, uh, Karen, you've got your hand up. Oh, no. Is that a legacy? Sorry. Chris? Yeah, I just wanted to mention that we'll have a new planning board member joining. Um, we hope, yes. Peter, in August, and um, that I've checked with KP Law, and they said that it, as long as we don't take any testimony tonight, um, that that new panel member would be able to join the panel for this application, um, and that yes. would be a person who's taking Janet's Janet McGowan's place. Yes. So I just but, wanted but, to let you know that. Yes. But I, I do I understand correctly that even if uh, we did take testimony tonight, if the person the new person was prepared had certified that they had watched the recording they could join the uh, discussion and be a voting member that's not the case in this in this instance because okay. that person is not a member of the planning board yet oh interesting thank you uh, useful clarification uh uh, do I see any other comments? Hands? I don't. Uh, I think we're ready to uh, take the vote on the motion to continue the meeting to uh, September. I forget the date. Uh, September 18th. Uh, September 18th at 635. Uh, Moved by Doug, seconded by Karen. Um, I'll take a roll call. Um, starting with you, Doug. Uh, aye. Karen? Aye. And Fred. Aye. And I'm as I'm an I as well. So that's four of us. That's uh, the unanimous of those present. Um, thank you, Tom. I think uh, we'll see you in September. See you in September. Thanks if a not, lot. If not before, with some other. That's right. Some other project or other that you may have in your up your sleeve. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Bye. Um. So, uh, old business item number four on the agenda, uh, topic, topics not reasonably anticipated uh, in the 45, uh, 48 hours prior. Is, uh, do we have anything, Chris? We don't have anything as far as I know. Nate and uh, Pam, is there anything? No. no. Okay. Um, any, any board member? No, moving uh, new business. Um, so the, there's an item of new business, the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission's uh, Certificate of Assessment uh, for this financial year. I think I've uh, I think I've seen this, but only insofar as I'm a member of the, uh, the commission uh, representing the town. 
uh, this is the, uh, Chris, I'm correct, this is the amount that all towns uh, present and that's prorated on the basis, I think, of population or maybe other things as well. That's correct. And they always send us a letter to um, to share with the planning board. It's addressed to Kimberly Mew, uh, the principal assessor. Yes. And then um, the uh, chair of the planning board always gets a copy. So we have been, uh, we have typically sent them to the planning board members, all the board members. Yes. And the assessment for this year is $7,347.29 for Amherst. But this gives us a list of all the different towns and cities in the area and what they pay. Mm. Yes, it's quite a spread. You can see that Cummington's $155. So, um, and someone, what's that? Uh, Middlefield is $72. I, anyway, I, I looked at this and I thought, wow, that is a hell of a spread. <laughs> I'm not sure what Springfield is. It's uh, 29000 So, but this is just for our, our information. Is that correct? We are not required to take any action in regard to this, or am I wrong about that? You do not need to take any action. It's just for your information. Okay. Does any board member have any questions related to this uh, presentation? I actually have no idea what this is, what this money is for. This is... Uh, one of the uh, revenue streams that supports the planning uh, the Pioneer Valley uh, Planning Corporation. The uh, corporation is uh, has member townships that are listed as municipalities in the left-hand column. There are many of them. Some of them are very small and some of them like Springfield are quite large. And there's a prorated assessment. And I'm not sure what the total is. Chris, if you can roll down. Um, it's uh, This is a... a um, uh, 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 part of uh, the uh, what the planning commission uses needs to sustain itself, but it gets revenues from various other sources, mostly from grants on the one hand, or consulting uh, because the number uh, the members, uh, the specialist uh, staff of the commission uh, are often uh, um, paid uh, do consulting work on you know through the uh, commission. So. It's part of the uh, revenue stream that supports the commission. Fred? Uh, yeah, I was just was noting that uh, with some interest that Northampton, the Northampton ses assessment is a lot smaller than the Amherst assessment. It is. Yes, it it, it mixes around. It's, uh, uh, I'm not quite sure. Well, uh, I, 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 I'm speaking as the... Uh, representative on the board, I, I confess that I'm not sure how that assessment is is figured beyond prorating. If there's other um, uh, 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 um, services that the commission provides, Amos, that it doesn't provide other towns. Chris, are you aware of uh, some uh, easy explanation as to why uh, um, Northampton is uh, significantly less than Amos? I don't know the reason for that. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, we can apply for various technical assistance from Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, but so can all of these other cities and towns. Mm -hmm. um, we also hire them from time to time to do things for us, like they did the Historic Preservation Plan update. Um, but I don't know any reason why our yearly assessment would be um, – so much more than Northampton. It's about, what is it, $2,000 more, roughly? I think so. So it's 50% mm -hmm. more, or maybe 40%. And we have 10,000 more people than they do, according to this. Oh, okay. So that might be part that, of it. That would be certainly part of it. I think, Fred, that's probably a large part of the difference. Would you like me to uh, uh, pursue this with the uh, director? Uh, no, that's, that, that's, I don't want to take any more time on this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I, it's, it seems to be a, a, a robust organization. I've, uh, um, we, we, you, we've seen periodically the reports that they give us annual reports of what they've done uh, in the course of the year and so forth. They seem to be well-led, uh, and, uh, quite active and, and, and it's a fairly large staff, um, 
I think we're we're fortunate to have them in our in our region. Uh, Nate. Yeah, I mean, every town's assessed the same rate. It's just based on population. So we're not, you know, we're not being charged more disproportionately. It's just, you know, our population based on the census is that much bigger than Northampton's. Yeah, but but uh, really, uh, I mean, if we wanted to get into the weeds, that that a good portion of that population isn't here for a, 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 um a notable portion of the year, but I, I, I don't suppose we're going to anyone's going to challenge the uh, assessment. It's it would take more time, more money than it would be worth to, to save a thousand dollars. Okay, seeing no more, I think we can move to the the any new business topics not reasonably uh, anticipated. Chris, Nate? no, no topics, no. Nope. For May, a and R subdivision applications. We no, don't we have one for tonight, but we have another. We have one coming for the twenty first. Okay. Um, upcoming uh, oh. SPP SPR um, SUB applications. Um, we received a preliminary subdivision application for um, property on Shootsbury Road. Um, because the applicant wants to freeze the zoning on property that is proposed for um, solar development. So you'll be seeing that, I think, on the 4th of September. Um, it's a kind of perfunctory um, process um, in that they don't actually want to build a subdivision, but there's something in the state law that allows them to freeze the zoning on a property in other words, they wouldn't have to abide by any new solar bylaw that came into effect um, during the period that they are applying for permits. Um, so uh -huh. you'll be seeing that. You've seen these before. Um, I think Mr. Robleski did one on his property on Main Street. Uh -huh. um, so. Um, so maybe Doug has, but the rest of us have... Um... Haven't been on the board uh, when Robleski was around. Uh, Fred, you have a question, comment? Fred, you are it's muted. Good. Oh, sorry. I there think you. I think you may have skipped over upcoming ZBA applications. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. I uh, um, yes, I didn't. I scrolled too far down. Uh, well, we'll get to that. Well, we've uh, so Chris has given us the uh, an upcoming uh, subdivision application uh, for, the, for the, probably the well the the September meeting anyway. Whether that's the next meeting or not, we'll see. Um, and going back to upcoming ZBA applications, thank you, Fred. Uh, the one that I am aware of but can't speak profoundly on is the fact that the comprehensive B permit. Um, the application has arrived, and maybe Nate or Chris, if you want to say a few words on that. Probably Nate would be the best person. The um, company, uh, yeah, the wayfinders. Oh, the wayfinders, yeah, okay. Yeah, they 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 submitted their 40B application, and a transmittal has gone out. Um, you know, I'm assuming in September, or October, the board could hear a presentation about that and provide comments to the ZBA. You had done so already um a bit ago and they you know the architects changed the design around a bit in response to some of the comments from the board um and so now it's you know going to the zba the first hearing is august 29th it'll probably take you know four or five months or more to get through okay that's that's upcoming um any questions or comments do we we don't need to make a decision about that at the moment because it's not actually here no that's right okay um planning board uh, liaison and board committee reports um i have nothing to report on the on the planning commission um uh, doug the cpa committee do you have anything to report on that i i do not have anything new on that okay karen drb oh, nope no. nothing chris crc 
Um, I'm continuing to meet with the CRC about the solar bylaw. Um, they're working their way through it and um, hope to have a more refined draft to send to the town council. I see Fred's hands. A question of Chris? Yeah, a question for Chris. Um, to what extent would this bylaw be affected by or not affected by the uh, stalemate in the legislature regarding uh, things like solar energy? Well, this bylaw um, is our our own bylaw that covers large scale solar installations. But generally speaking, we wouldn't have an installation that's large enough to really be very much affected by the state law. The only thing in the state law that might affect Amherst is that um, they require they are hoping to require that permitting um, happen within a 12 month period, which is kind of a short period of time for some of these large projects. So um, mm. the state law has kind of two tiers of projects. Anything 25 megawatts or over is going to be, they're proposing that it be handled by the state. Um, anything 25 megawatts, or, or excuse me, anything under 25 megawatts would be continue to be handled locally but um, there would be that time frame where um, you could only spend 12 months on the review process, which to me, you know, if given that you have to go to the Conservation Commission and the Zoning Board of Appeals, it just is seems very short. Um, but in any event, nobody asked for my editorial. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, just to note that the uh, the. Uh, Pioneer Valley Planning uh, Commissions uh, had a number of presentations on this, some of which I've circulated through to the staff and so forth. So if uh, uh, some of this stuff hits uh, us, we have that organization's uh, material as, as a resource for us as well. Um, report of Chair. Doug, do you have a report? I do not, Bruce, but I would like to thank you for standing in for me this evening. My pleasure. Chris, report of staff? Well, um, I guess there's one thing to report. There is one thing to report, that I will be planning director until the 27th of September, and then I'm going to be retiring. And um, I've offered my services to the town to come back part-time after that if they need me, if they want me and need me. But um, otherwise, I'm going to be retired. So. Well, congratulations. Do, do we... Uh... Um, my wife asked me whether the town was uh, has begun a search process for a replacement, and I said I did not know the answer. Um, what's the, that? So that would be my question, uh, out of curiosity. Uh, I think Paul Bachelman is going to uh, begin a search process, um, but he has not begun one yet. So uh, can I ask? Perhaps I mean it's uh, my answer to my wife was well, you know. Uh, We've got some uh, competent people in in the planning department, and uh, we've noted in town recently that, such as with the school, for example, that uh, instead of going and looking for a new principal straight away, we had uh, uh, two uh, people who were co-principals. That was also true of the common school, and it gave people opportunities to develop leadership capabilities and so forth in the interim term, I guess. So I um, I thought that maybe that's the uh, plan that's in the town manager's mind and and uh, I, I have to say I, I I was kind of vaguely curiously supportive of such an idea because I think it's uh, except that, of course that means there's one fewer people uh, uh, operating um, well so. um, we are looking for a planner to replace the planner who left in May yeah and um so we still have that vacancy. And then when I leave, there will be a vacancy. Yeah. Um, I I could tell you where my heart lies, which is that um, I hope that Nate Malloy has a very good shot at becoming planning director. I think he's really talented and smart and knows so much about the town, but um, it will be a town manager decision. But I also wanted to say that the city of Northampton went out for a nationwide search and um, they ended up hiring the person who had been there. 
and she's an excellent um, planning director, Carolyn Mish. So they made the right choice there. So I hope that um, Amherst also makes the right choice. This was after Wayne. Uh, That's right. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Well, um, keep 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 visible, Nate. <laughs> yep. And and uh, if there's anything I can, uh, I mean, uh, we, we, the board will be uh, try and be helpful and and so forth because we recognise that you're continually understaffed and and now about to be even more so. Um, I guess uh, that's it. Uh, um, nothing more to report from staff. Can't think of anything right now. Um, I guess. Uh, um, I'll move adjournment. Um, do we? I'm not sure whether we need. How do we do this? Is, is that a second hand, uh, Karen? Mm -hmm. Yes, I always thought one voted by clicking the red button at the bottom of the screen, but that's what I'll be doing right now. Um, thank you all, and I look forward to seeing you again shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we we don't need to make a. a it'll be our. Um, Let's see. We are on the. This is an irregular meeting. This is a second, a second Wednesday. So this is the uh, first, first Wednesday. First Wednesday. First Wednesday. Yep. Oh right. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's yes. I beg your pardon. It's a. It's a. Very seldom do I have my NACF meeting the night after the planning board meeting, but in in a month when, which starts on, on Thursday, then that happens. That's why I'm confused. Thank you all. I'll see you maybe in two weeks. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.